I gotta go introduce. Hello, little girl. Don't eat that. No, little girl. Thanks, little girl. Don't knock my camera over, please. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to the wild huckleberry. As you can see, it is a beautiful bluebird day. There's there are not actually any clouds in the sky this morning. Uh, it is a beautiful day. Uh, hopefully we'll dry out a little bit. We've had a lot of rain here lately. I'm headed out to let the chickens out and then I ask, but you see who is happy to greet me. I'm extremely excited to have him and his buddies up there joining me on these trips. Uh oh. He hears somebody running around on a four-wheeler and he doesn't like it. So, anyway, uh, headed down here, running way late this morning. Had too many things I had to do. Had a nail in my tire and uh, had to do some gathering up of stuff and all. So, I'm very late. The chickens are not going to be happy with me, but uh, that's okay. We'll get set and we'll get the crazy ones out. And you guys can join me on this and I'll show you all the new uh, additions up the hill here and we'll see what it all looks like together. All right, let's let the crazy ones out. All right, come on out guys and girls. There's Of course, somebody immediately starts pecking at my shoe. Oh, look what we have laying right here in the front. No more. No, I don't see any more. But we do have an egg. All right, guys. Let me prop this door open. And I got a little something for y'all this morning. Just a whole bunch of scraps from the house, bread and all kinds of things here. And I'm gonna just chuck it out here and let them enjoy it. Well, Two are talking to each other this morning. Okay. Most of what's in here, there's some there's some meat. There's a bunch of bread. I'm just gonna pour it all out here in a pile and let them go at it. Get rid of my sorry guys. Get rid of my trash. Okay, now let's get to the feeding. Okay, get the top off of this, which is not easy to do with this red bucket on here. And let's give them some laying pellets out here. I don't know how interested they're gonna be in this stuff right now with all this other stuff out here because that other stuff is got their attention, although I see there are some who decided, and there goes Thor, quit bud, quit harassing the birds, that's why you're not in with them. <laughs> FedEx truck. That's what got him so fired up right there, was a FedEx truck. All right, that ought to be enough. Feed with this other stuff. Hey, Han. Han's come to see us. Oh, everybody's coming. The other buck, I got to name him. There's Leia. I feel like Leia, when she has her baby, is going to have a single 
because she's not all that big just yet. All right. Everybody having fun, enjoying? Oh, here comes Storm and her little one. There's that little baby right there. Isn't he cute? <laughs> Thor does not like the four-wheelers that are going around here. He does not like that sound at all. Okay. And there we have... Getting sick. Excuse me. Excuse me. They're going, they're going to let me by. I'll step on by. <laughs> I see the cuteness of this little one running down here after his mama. Oh, he's hungry slash thirsty is why. So now the, these two, look at that cute baby. Little baby goats are just too dang cute. They just frolic and run. So cute. Alright, came up here to check on everybody, just see how the goats were doing. Look at that little one. That little one there is feeling his oats. And you see our other two newbies over there. I gotta go introduce hello little girl don't eat that no little girl thanks little girl don't knock my camera over please oh no hi Valkyrie darling okay now I got a little one at my feet I don't have any food to see this this is what happens if they think, quit, you're trying to eat my hand, girlfriend. I don't, little girl, don't eat my hand. Hop down, hop down, babe. Not on top of your kiddo, literally. Okay, let's go in here and check these new babies out. Okay, I got one more for you, bud. That's the last one. All I got left in there is an egg. Oh, no, I do have one more. Okay, let's go in here. Hi. Go in here and introduce move door. Introduce you to the newest additions. Hi bite. Bite. There's one of them. Get off of her. She just had a baby. Get off of there, you goober. You can't do anything at this point. There's that cute little baby. And then I storm. Hi, Storm. Hi, sweet girl. And then, all right, I'm trying to find her sister, and I'm pretty sure that her sister is probably hiding into the, here. Okay, now Storm moved. There we go. There's our other newest. And as you can maybe tell, they, both of the newbies, have waddles just like the little white one does. See, you can see her waddle is really good from the side. So, yeah, we got, Han is obviously the daddy of three of my four babies so far. So, this little one is gnawing on my pants. Hello, <laughs> little girl. He's gnawing on my pants and he's jumping on me. He's having a good time. He's kind of gotten used to me, I do believe. <sighs> Quit eating my pants, dude. <laughs> now he's up on me. And Thor is in the middle of all... I don't have any more, buddy. Excuse me, Val. Excuse me, Val. 
All right, so there we go. There's an update on the goat. So, uh, woo, that sun's pretty, pretty bad right now. Of course, it is almost noon. It's 11 o'clock or so. But anyway, um, there we go. We got four babies now. Uh, they are doing really well. Uh, I am, I don't know what is wrong with me this year. I have lost my mind when it comes to uh, telling if a, a goat is a boy or girl because the two first two that were born are boys and these last two are girls. I know y'all probably are not ready to trust me at this point because I have not been sure. I've not been able to tell for sure, but that's what they are. This, this little down here who is headbutting me now and that little white one right over there those are my boys and the two new ones i just introduced you to those are my girls so i still am waiting on leia here to have hers uh, and see what it might be she's a she'll be a first time mom so i feel like she's probably just got a single in there but we'll see for sure she doesn't look just supremely pregnant like i'm used to seeing my nigerians but i don't i've never had a kiko pre pregnant before so i don't know how that's going to turn out so man i can start i can feel your horns starting to come in fella little guy your your horns are definitely coming in i can feel them when you're butting me like that thor move your nose back bud okay well that's it that's the update for today <laughs> thor really wants another i had some turkey meatballs that were left over and so i fed them to him he really wants some more of those but all right guys well i appreciate you watching hope you enjoy the videos if you're not subscribed please subscribe like the videos and uh, ring that notification bell and then you can be updated you guys have a great one Coming out here to let the chickens out, and this is what I see. Thor is enjoying that sunlight. It's chilly out here. It's uh, in the 40s, and he's laid out. There's Leia and Ray laying there, and let's see where are they? Back up just a little. Oh, there they are. There's Han and. I'm not sure. I think that's, I actually think that's Valkyrie that's laying out there with him. They're just enjoying this beautiful afternoon. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous out here, but it is chilly. I found me everybody. So, came outside and yeah. was going down down down. Let the chickens out and showed y'all Thor snoozing. And then I don't like Cleo and Paxton decided they needed to join me. So as you can you can hear Cleo talking behind me and Thor is now awake and wanting to check out what we're doing. So here we go. Alright, come on. See, I got my helper here. Who's very much in the bright sunlight. And Pax who is wearing Minnie's coat is down here to help me let the chickens out. Chicken. And as you can see, they're I very see much the ready chicken, to come out. But they always make... oh, All right. That's a big large Y'all stay back right there, okay? And I'm going to let them out. What? <laughs> ah, run! Where are you going? Oh, uh, I thought they were going to hang out and help me, but obviously not. Hello, Sheldon. Tell me about it, big boy. Alright, guys. Let me get this off. Alright, come on. Everybody out. Get you some bread. 
they always run for right over there. They found them a spot they like over there. Sheldon's trying to tell them that there's food right here because I threw out some bread. But <laughs> tell them, Sheldon. Good job, buddy. <laughs> oh, gosh. They knocked my camera over this morning. I didn't realize how dirty it had gotten. Okay. All right, guys. Y'all be careful and stay out of trouble and eat lots of grass. Eat lots of grass. All right. See, they've, they're getting braver these days because some of them are staying down there a little bit, but they have gotten to now where they will come all the way up here to the house and hang around so okay well they're out I'll have to come check on them later it's kind of late in the afternoon because I'm a little nervous right now after seeing those uh, hawks with letting them out too long especially the Delawares those white ones are just going to show so clear so anyway everything's going good everybody's happy right now so I'd just show you guys. Sheldon's down there talking to him. All right, so I am out here in the chicken pan with my beautiful birds. Um, and let's get a good close look at Farkas here while I'm out here. And Sheldon. There's a Bielefeld hen for you. Pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, so this was my project du jour, the project of the day, and that was to build something for the chickens to roost on on this side. And I think, I'm hoping that what I have built here is good enough. It goes all the way, all the way down the lane. It's got a good wide surface for them to sit on. It's about, it's a little taller than the one on the other side. And not quite as wide but this is it's about two foot tall I was just going once again with my scrap material stuff that I had on hand and so uh, that's what I got no hey hey get out of there quit that move move and then sorry but when I came in here I found these laying in the coop so I'm very interested in the fact that I love it that because one of our Americanas has started laying that's just awesome sorry Sheldon I didn't mean to scare you there buddy Roe okay I'm gonna go check for eggs right quick all right I know I'm not gonna find any girls but I'm gonna look just to be sure Yeah, nothing in these boxes. Always. And then. Wow. Somebody's being a little bit ridiculous. Down the highway over there. Alright, let's see. Nothing on this side, too, I'm sure. Hello, Thor. Nope. Nobody has figured it out yet that we need to lay eggs in the nesting boxes. Although we have found eggs under the nesting boxes. <laughs> Makes perfect sense, doesn't it? We don't lay where we're supposed to. We lay underneath it. Alright, well. Now I just have to wait around a little bit and see if anybody is willing to get up on the... Oh, as you can see, the girls do like to get up on top of the nesting box too. I don't know how they hold on, so I guess it's those nails, because this thing has got a pretty good angle to it, and it's metal. Thor, no sir. You're not getting to the chickens, buddy, I'm sorry. Anyway, they get up there, and it's amazing to me that they can stay up there. 
All right. I threw them some oyster shells out earlier today to help with their calcium and such. See if anybody's, no, nobody's decided to get up there yet. Okay. All right, time for me to go. And now I got to get out of here without letting the chickens out because I'm listening. I've already seen one hawk and I'm listening to another one hollering in the distance right now. So no getting out today, guys. I'm sorry. Maybe next time. All right, it's time to close the chickens up. And here's the final say on this. Are they going to use the roost or, well, okay. One of them is using the roost at this point in time. Nobody else is up there. Everybody else is down here or up here on this side. Apparently they haven't figured out that that's a good place to go. But I'm going to try to convince them it's a good place to go. Farkas, just because I gave you some light, quit. I'm going to have to convince them that it's a good place to go and sit. Come here, darling. Here. I may have to move it out a little bit. Gosh, look at the dust they stirred up. That is terrible. Okay, well. But can you see what's underneath everybody right there? I'm going to have to check real close and see if there's any others. But uh, I'm going to have to build another line of these across the back back there. I definitely don't have enough room for all of them, I don't believe. But we'll see how it works out. Gosh, sorry for all the dust flying in the air. I can't even see any of that. Isn't that crazy? All right, guys. Good night. Say good night to the chickens. <laughs>